Hey guys, Jonathan Farmer here from Midnight Sun Custom Flies with OPST and we're tying a fly today. Uh, this is a little summer steelhead fly or salmon fly or trout fly, whatever you want to make it in whatever color you want to do it. I do this fly uh, for summer trout fishing, uh, just scaled down a little bit on uh, a trout hook. This is a T10-6H size 4 from Gamagatsu. Uh, you can tie it um, on really any hook you'd like. This is the hook that I like for this fly. Um, but this is the LDB. So we'll just go ahead and uh, start our thread. This is A. Beavis. And we've got a little bead on here. You can use brass, you can use tungsten, you can do this unweighted really up to you but we're gonna start with some flat diamond braid and we're gonna run this about halfway up the body this is just gonna give us a little bit of flash in the back and take up some space because really a lot of this fly is gonna be up in the front so we're going to tie off our, our flat diamond braid and we're going to double it back just to create a stop for that bead. We don't want that bead to go anywhere. And then what I like to do, just extra security and I'm a big fan of redundancy. Add a little crazy glue. We'll just build that little bump up to make sure that, that bead doesn't want to jump and go anywhere. Let me do a quick little whip finish. I always advise against using a whip finisher. I can't seem to find mine right now. But we'll cut our thread. We'll slide that bead back. And then we'll start a thread again. You can jump it over the bead. I just don't really prefer to do that. I like to start clean. But now that we've got our thread started, this bead's going to be our prop. And I'm going to take two of the smaller, I've got an OPST saddle here that I have used extensively. You can see most of it is gone and we're down to the top kind of schloppany feathers. And there's still some stuff in here that's useful for little flies, uh, but really these two feathers came down from the from the bottom portion of the saddle. This is just another great use for the feathers that you might not be able to use for intruders or larger steelhead flies we can now use for smaller summer steelhead or smaller salmon flies or trout flies. But we're just going to I like to start right at about where the fluff starts on these saddles. For some reason I really like just a little bit of that. And we're just going to tie these in down the side. And you can make them as long or as short as you want. I don't like them to be too super long. But I like enough wiggle, uh, enough length to give some nice wiggle to this fly. We're going to tie them right down the side and that little bead is going to help splay them. We'll just use that as our as our prop. And you can tint them a little bit. I like them pretty much straight down the side. Make sure that they're equal length. And then we'll just double these stems back to lock them in really well and just break them away. If you've got really thick stems, it might be better to cut them so you don't rip the saddles out. Just make sure that you've got them set just the way that you want. And we're going to take some crinkle mirror flash. This is from Cascade Crest Tools. Here it is right here. We love this stuff. We're going to take one strand and we're going to double it over and just cut it in half really get a lot more out of it when you when 
you're mindful of waste. We're going to tie that in right down the side. And we're just going to cut it to length. I like one a little bit shorter than the other. So now we're going to use just a little bit of crack and dub. This is a purple that has some steely blue flash in it. And we're just going to take a little bit of this. Not a lot of it, but a little bit. And we're just going to make sure that all those little silly legs in there are nice and even. And make sure that you don't have any that are doubled over. If you do, just go through and snip them. So now I've got a spay marabou feather from Nature Spirit. And we're going to use some of the more fluffy stuff on the bottom that you may not use in a, in a larger fly. We're just going to peel that right off. You could use ostrich if you want. You can use marabou. You can use really whatever you want to use in this fly. And I'm going to check my length, and I want my length to be just beyond the hook bend by about a quarter of an inch or so. And remember, once we put it in the loop, we can always we can always trim it up to to get the length that we want. It's better to have too much and be able to take it out than to have too little and waste material and not be happy with our fly. So then we're just going to stick that marabou right on top. And occasionally I'll add uh, a little ostrich wing in here. I want this one to stay fairly, fairly sparse. I do like a little ostrich wing, a little lavender ostrich wing would look really nice. We're just going to put a little bit more cracking on top of that. And we're going to make a double loop. stick all this marabou if it cooperates right into that loop. And then we'll just trim up a little bit of excess that we have there. And when you're spinning this, make sure to spin it nice and slow. spinning up because we don't want to trap too much of anything you can use your scissors or you can use a dubbing needle whatever you prefer So now we're just going to part all this back because we've kind of picked it out as we've spun it up. This is just a really good way to use some of what you might waste with your marabou or some of the shorter fibers on an ostrich feather. And we're looking for just a few turns. Two is generally plenty. 
You know, I really want more than about two, maybe three turns here. Three turns will be more than enough. And we'll just tie that off. I really like to do four turns, and then I'll catch. that loop and tie back on it just to make sure that it's really secure. Because we really don't want that going anywhere. Just run through and pick out any of those little silly legs if you are really mindful and careful you can just pull them until they break in half if you've had any that have doubled over. So now we're going to take silver pheasant and kingfisher blue to add a little contrast. This is where you can use some of the smaller ones in the package. I really like the kind of medium sized feather for this one there's a small to medium and when you're stripping when you're stripping these what I found to be easiest is if you pull one side really quickly and it's probably gonna break on me Ooh, it didn't so then you pull away and down and, and try and do it pretty quickly. Don't, it's like ripping off a band-aid. Just do it as fast as possible. Pull away and down. So we're going to tie in the, the tip. We're going to double that back just to make this a bit more durable. Make one turn right in front of the other. Stroking those feathers back. You can crease them with your scissors if you like. Two turns of silver pheasant. It's usually just about right. Double that stem back and you can break it away. And you can tie this fly with or without JC. I've got two right here already already picked and these are the small smaller side of the uh, of the cape. One from the right, one from the left. Try and try and get them matching, if at all possible. You can make them as short or as long as you like. That's really up to you. I don't like them to be too overpowering, but I like them to to be noticeable. Get it set where you want. It's nice and secure. And we can trim away these stems. You can fold them over. You can double them back, but we're going to use crazy glue, and crazy glue is well, it's crazy glue. It's super strong. It holds everything in really well. Clean everything up. And 
And just be really careful when you're using crazy glue to keep it on the head and not touching any of those other materials. That crazy glue will really lock in that JC and it, it won't go anywhere. There you go, there's a fun little summer steelhead, salmon, trout fly. You can do this in real natural colors. Um, and you can do it in really bright, you know, salmon colors. It's really up to you. Have fun with it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a bunch.